Hello and welcome here back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at the Evil Rabbit Drift Competition sign because we're going to be taking the first look at the beta of the Evil Rabbit Competition track. We're going to sky it up here a little bit to give you guys a little bit of an overview. So if this track looks familiar to a lot of people, that is because this track is in the playground. It's a smaller version of this track. But it is in the playground. This has been expanded a little bit bigger to give a little more space. So we're taking a quick overview and a quick look out of it here before it gets released to beta to level 2 and 3 tier Patreons. If you want to join the Patreons down below. And then it will go to free public release. We are determining if we want to run this as the slalom entry it is or run a no pass line as well as i think we are going to go upside down adjust this and make the chicane a little bit more aggressive so just a quick rundown we do have a full outer zone on the wall just like we do in the playground and then we also have some outer glowing clips and we go into the first section where it can be run as either a an outer zone back here or an inner zone on that oval right there and then it goes into another outer zone sweeper which can also be run here as either a an outer zone or an inner zone on those two clips and then we have the final outer zone that sweeps all the way around to the finish line with getting as close as you can to those tires for those tire taps so the overview of the track and the first look of Evil Rabbit Comp Track, it is a larger version and a little bit stretched out version of the track that was in the playground. Big thank you to Hexer for making this possible. We'll be making maybe some fine tweaks to it after we put it out in beta and get some other people's opinions. But with that being said, so with that being said, let's go. With that being said, let's go full send here on the track and go see what we can come up with. We're going to get my tire data a little bit hidden a little more there. There we go. So we're going to go full send here on the track, give you guys a little bit of a rundown on it as we're running it so you guys can get see it for the first time and then we will get into some tandems in another episode. But like I said, I will be releasing this track into beta testing for level 2 and 3 tier Patreons on the Patreon so they can do some beta testing. This is the beta S15 for my pro car pack, which we'll be releasing this week sometime in full. So, first run. Initiate, try and get up into the wall. Try and stay in that outer zone as much as possible. We're gonna run this as the outer zone section this time. Trying to pull myself in, there we go. Trying to stay nice and tight on the wall as possible. Angle up there a little bit. To be able to get this outer zone section into the final outer zone, which involves a little bit of a clutch kick because it's kind of a decreasing radius and overall across the line. So not a bad run, I would say, for that run, but I have been running this track a little bit. So now we're going to run the track again, but we're going to do it as inner zones. And then we will take a look at some replay angles and things like that. So we're going to run this in an inner zone fashion with some heated up tires already. We do, I think I do need to adjust this chicane a little bit. Make it a little more aggressive. One, two, three starting cones on the wall. Initiation cones as I, they say in an FD. Now we're gonna run this as an inner clip. Right in there. And then run it up against the wall. It flows pretty good in both ways. I personally prefer them as inner clips. It seems to be a little bit more set up and not as high angle or decreasing of speed there we go we got this two solid full runs here on the track i got in tell you that doesn't happen very often especially when i have the recording going so let's take a look at the replay angle of it so we do kind of have a little bit of a drone style cam that just kind of flows over and then after a little bit of time it does float to it's where it's a pretty good view for I would say a judging aspect. So it's a pretty good view in this aspect as you can see. It's kind of going to float and it's going to kind of float back a little bit too. But if you were watching this in say a live stream for a judging aspect, you see you have a pretty good view. Initiate in right before the standing cone. 
nice and tight on deep in the wall, you know, deep on the wall, both tires in the zone. This is where we ran it as a double outer zone, finished into that zone. Kind of went into that zone a little bit late, but we did get both tires in. So as you can see, the replay camera angle is a very good angle for watching it, say, in a competition aspect and being able to see, you know, the runs in its entirety. Nice and deep there, good overview. So it would be a great view to watch, say, the chase driver being nice and tight on there. And it kind of stays in this position. It gets about to this close, and then it kind of just stays there. So the runs will look almost uh, simultaneously the same, and it's a great view for judging or just watching and getting some cool aerials where you don't actually have to touch it because, well, if you guys saw Instagram, we do have a start stop light and stuff like that for initiation light and beginning light. See, that's a crazy view right there. If you're following the chase car, you're going to be seeing some door to door action. Nice and tight on that. Hard flick into there. And, you know, that's a nice deep wall ride. Angling it up towards the end, but overall, not a bad run overall nice and deep there and as you can see filling that full outer zone so now if we go back to the original one when the camera is fully zoomed in you're gonna see it's gonna look pretty much identical to what that last run looked in camera because once the drone kind of pans itself in it kind of stays at this distance from then on and you see great view for initiation nice and tight on the wall like I said, if you're following the chase car, it would look pretty good. May have to zoom this out a little bit, I think, in some aspect for height for like those zones that are really close on this bank side. But overall, super happy with how I ran these runs. Could never probably do that again if I would try, but see nice and very precise view. I like it a lot. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's definitely a crazy thing to see. And having this track coming out is definitely going to be awesome. Like I said, this is going to be a full free public release to you guys once after I do some beta testing. And we get some tandems and stuff like that. So we're going to run this again. But we're going to switch cars. So there was a new car pack that did come out. The Tsuji Guri cars. And these cars are going to be used in a competition for, I believe, a seat series for VDC. Definitely love the color scheme on this car. So we're going to rip this car, not my car, to drive another car on this track. This track is good for low power, high power, all types of comp cars. So we're going to go full send on this car. Going to heat up the tires. You can see definitely very soft suspension. These are cars I'm definitely going to be working and, tr and getting a look at them because if I want to run for the seat series for VDC license, these are the cars you're going to be running. So, it's a Sujiguri car, S14, so we're going to be a third gear rim. Not as deep as you can see, the suspension is very soft on this car. We're going to run an inner zone. Nice hard flick. Got this, we're good. Oh, I almost kept that. Oh, that would have been perfect. So we're gonna run again, but we're gonna run the outer zone sections in this car. We may pull out one more car and run it real quick. A very high powered car to show you that this track can be run low and high. So, full send. Initiation there. Like the car is not tuned. But off the rip, it does handle pretty well. Ooh, a little bobble there. I feel like this track is a super fun track, and a lot of people enjoyed the small version on the playground. So that's why we are bringing a bigger version for you guys here for a exclusive comp track. Let's go grab one high power car to end this episode off. And by powerful and rowdy, I'm talking about that KNC Viper. Yes, this car is fast, rowdy, and super grippy. So we're going to see if we can get it to tame this comp track here and see what we can do on it for one run. So. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on the channel. We got switch views. The KNC Dodge Viper. So powerful and so loud. We have to turn my sound around, sound down. This car is insane. Super grippy too. So we're gonna see if this car can handle it to show that this track can handle all of them. I hope because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to handle this car here. Fourth gear rip. I mean, it can. Oh my. So this is like a thousand horsepower, 800 horsepower Viper ripping it here on this track and it can hang. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find in the description box below. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.